happy Monday! We have a box packing! Sweet little Maximilian is going home. Oh, he's such a little sweetie peapod. All right, everybody, we are going to pack this little man up. He was actually going to be going home next month in January, but his mommy is bringing him home a little sooner, which is a huge joy level for me because I had been thinking back when he went on layaway, I thought, oh, it would be so nice if he went home in December. Now, his mommy doesn't even know this. I haven't shared it with her. Because it would be so fun to put him in a stocking. So I ran out this morning and got him a little stocking because up until last night or yesterday, I didn't know he was going home today or, you know, in December. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start wrapping things up, but I'm going to do things a little different. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I, I'm actually awaiting another. I, I placed an order the other day for gray and the teal and like a sand color, like the color of my... Um, here, my butterfly um, tissue. So I'm going to see what I feel about doing that instead of all the multicolor. And I also, what I just showed you, I, I ordered several, three different um, stickers. So I'm not going to use ribbon. In the beginning, when I started that whole tying packages with ribbon, I did it because so many people didn't have tripods. But now most people have two hands. Um, so I'm going to see what I think about this. Um, and y'all will, well, Melanie will be the first one to let me know her thoughts on the whole, back from ages in the beginning when I first started, I'm always looking at, like, ways to customize my box and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> anyway, so, the first thing I'm packing up is a little, it's Faded Glory Preemie. It's a little, um, softy fleece footed pajama in argyle in uh, dark blue light blue white and then little tiny gray lines so now i have to figure out exactly how i want to fold this paper because i want the sticker to be on the front so i haven't practiced maybe i should have practiced so i have to line up the paper just so right so if i do that I mentally practiced, so that was good. And do that, then this should line up right in the center. There we go. So on this one, I will go ahead and put, it's a circle sticker, it's black. The background is black, and it has my Kimberly's Cocoon butterfly. See that? Helps if I put it in, in the view of the camera. That's the first one. And then the next one is, I think I'm going to cut this off the hanger. It's a little Gerber organic baby. It's a gown. Oops, that little hat goes with the next outfit. Um, it's a cream colored gown that has stars all over it in silver and a very, uh, like the same teal green of Kimberly's Cocoon. I just noticed that. And uh, it's not really gold. It's, I'm going to but the, the hat and the, the hat says little star. And then there's little mittens in here, little hand mitts. Um, but they're attached to the hanger. And I just think that's going to be a little, this, this baby actually fits inside of a large flat rate box. I hope with everything I've got going here that he still fits in. I, there's the tag. You don't need it, right, Melanie? Oh, this baby's going to in the sparrow's nest. I'm so excited for Melanie to get him. This kit, I just have fallen so in love with this kit. It is such a very spectacularly detailed teeny weeny kit that I just, I, well, he's 15 inches. He's not, you know, super tiny, but I just love this kit so very much. And uh, let's see, on this one, how about we put, this is a rectangle sticker that's white. And then in the, in the turquoise teal color, it says Kimberly's Cocoon. And of course, there's my little butterfly. See how that looks? I've been waiting to use these. I ordered them a while back. And, uh, well, not a while back. I think they arrived maybe two weeks ago. Um, then the next outfit is his little, um, loved baby 
giraffe jammy and matching hat. Um, but anyway, he, so he is joining many siblings. Melanie has such a beautiful collection of babies. And um, I think I've said this before, if there were awards for creative videos, Melanie would win, hands down. Her videos are so amazing. If you don't watch Melanie, you should. This sticker is a rectangle that's black and says Kimberly's Cocoon and has my butterfly. So those are the three different labels. I'm really liking how that looks over there, that little stack. And then we have, I think I'll wrap these two together. I have a little uh, sleeveless onesie in pale blue. It's by George Baby. And it has little snaps down the side there. I guess that would be if you had a preemie baby that maybe had tubes and stuff, it would be easier access. And it has a little tiny gray teddy on the front. And then this is by a brand called Spa Silk, and this is also preemie. It's a little onesie that it snaps actually at the belly, the, the part that comes between the legs. There's three snaps at the belly. And it's white with a pale blue trim, and there's little dinosaurs all over it and palm trees and polka dots. So I think I'll wrap those two together. Oh no, we got a face up. That's what I'm gonna have to get used to is the facing up of things because that kind of goes against how I normally wrap. But that's okay, I'll get used to it. Because I think I'm, I'm looking over at that little stack of, and when I have my fourth color paper, because now I have white and the teal and the gray, the other one, like I said, is kind of a sand color. I couldn't find the exact color of the butterfly, you know, that's in the butterfly, but I think it'll be close enough. And then on this one, let's put another circle. Um, anyway, so, Melanie, thank you, thank you for opening your heart and home to another one of my babies. I'm really excited to hear what you think of this kit. I just, there are still some available, I believe, on Trueborns. If you're an artist, I, I really cannot express the details in this kit. It is such a spectacular kit. So let's bring over his blankets. I'm actually going to, I did put a hospital blanket for him. Melanie, forgive the, as I explained in my other uh, box packing of the Denver Rose kit, I bought these and washed them, so there is a little bit of... So that's why you're getting two blankets, because the... Oh, he just curls up so nice in my arms. Mm. Safe travels, little man-man. All right, we're going to dress him, this little peanut. I have to send him home in this knit set. I just... I know, you know, it's cold. Here we actually woke to snow today. Um, not much. Yesterday I was out and about running errands and we had a wintry mix, so it was raining and snowing together. Well, when I went into a store it was raining, misty kind of rain. And then when I came out, there was snow mixed in with it. And But when we went to bed last night, there was no accumulation of snow or anything. But we got up this morning, um, it was really just like on the grass, it looked like frosting. There was no, um, I mean, in the cars too, but like the concrete. So the streets, the driveway, the sidewalk, none of that had snow because of all the buildup of the rain. So that was nice. So we didn't have to plow or anything. Huh, little man, man. I thought about sending him in his jammies, but I really, I think, oh, this outfit, I'm going to have to order again from this lady. In one of the uh, little organza bags, I put the tag that came with this outfit. It does say Knitting Bee Boutique on here, which is her Etsy store, but just in case his mommy wanted that information. His little booties. I think he'll be warm enough. And with the blankets and stuff. There's just his little knees sticking out, because we're going to put on his little chapeau. Oh, so sweet. A little me bundled up in there. Where's your necklace? Uh-oh. We've lost your necklace. Oh, I see the string. Where's the cross? <laughs> oh, my word! 
Oh, I think I tied it up into the hat. Oh, it is. It's tied up into his hat. Sorry, little man. We have to take off your chapeau and we'll start over. Okay, let's get the cross back around there. Okay. Now we have the cross properly in place. You can put your chapeau on. I prefer it with the strings just hanging loose, but because he's going in a shipping box, we're going to tie it. Although I'm afraid it'll fall off. Oh, come here, little one. Give me a snuggly buggly. Mm, here's his little stocking. It says Baby's First Christmas 2019. It's pale blue. And then there is the head of a teddy bear and his little paws. And then he has a blue and white gingham bow on his neck. And next to the words, Baby's First Christmas 2019, which is embroidered down in the foot part, there is a little, uh, a little white Christmas tree with three little embroidered blue baubles. So, let's see if you fit in here, little man. I hope you do. I should have tried that before the video, right? But what's the fun of that, right? I have a friend who several years back had her son shortly before Christmas and I'm like oh put him in a stocking and take a picture and she did and oh she was so excited she thought that she hadn't thought of it and uh, oh, his curly legs are a bit wider so we're gonna have to turn your legs like that Let's see if that'll work there was actually in my mind I had thought about the pale blue stocking that is, you know, the fluffy one, and then it has the white band that says, and just says Baby's First Christmas on it. And they did have that one, but it was um, long enough, but really narrow. This one is almost twice as wide, and look, I'm having a little bit of a... All right, little man, we gotta... We gotta get you in there. Your mommy's gonna have a... Have a little bit of a time getting you out, I think. All right, but we're going to get you in there. Yes, we are. If I could get his legs to turn to go down in the foot, wouldn't that be so cute? But I just don't think... Okay. Sorry, everybody. Thanks for your patience. I wish I could turn his legs out. Let me see if that'll... Maybe... Maybe if I tuck the strings. I don't, can you guys even see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, you can only see them. That way I don't have to tie it. I prefer it loose. All right. Just seeing if I can... There we go. Turn his legs out a little bit. Mommy, His mommy's going to be like, how did she get him in there? Because I turned his legs after I put him in. Okay. Oh, look how sweet he is. Now, let's see. I don't know if there's room. I thought his cuddly might fit in there with him, but I don't think it will. Okay. See why I don't photograph I don't I don't video photo shoots. Y'all have no idea. I think I said that in my last video too. No, his necklace is tipped back. Now let me Oh, I didn't bring my phone down. Darn it! I want to take a picture of you like this and my camera doesn't pause. Oh, I'll have to make a mental picture. Click click. Okay, there it is. So let's put I'll have to give him one more hug. Oh, Mm, give your mommy a big hug from me. Mm, that one's for you, Melanie. And here's a kiss for Sparrow and Ratty and all your siblings and even Mary Poppins. If you don't know who Mary Poppins is, you have to watch Melanie. Like I said, if you're not watching Melanie, you're really missing out. She is such a sweet lady. I'm just trying to see if I can tuck his arms in a little bit, like that, oh, there we go, and then you can put your little, your little friend, like that, oh, I wish I had my camera, but I don't, oh, look how sweet, all right, little man, and oh, and his little cuddly, is this, I think it's a Scotty dog, Oh, his name is up here. Let's see. It's a little black puppy. It's a Thai beanie baby. Oh, yes, yeah, Scotty. That's, that's his name, Scotty. 
All right, so let us, so he's got a little hospital blanket, and then his muslin blanket is white with gray stars. Okay. Oops. I'm grabbing the It's a Boy ribbon there. There we go. Let's bring that down. Oh, you're a little swassage. No, actually, you're a burrito. All right, now I will let his mommy share his name. Let's take the It's a Boy ribbon. Put it there. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, ours was very quiet, which was fabulous. And uh, my husband ended up, he was supposed to go to work Friday, but he didn't. He ended up not, which was glorious. And our weekend will start shortly. He'll be home soon. It's about probably 11-something on Monday morning right now. So he'll be home shortly. So I'm going to get this little man taken off to the, the stork post, which I actually needed to go there today anyway. Um, I have uh, my thank you notes from my birthday party that I want to mail off. There we go. Oh. All right, let's get his box. Oh, before we do, i got to show you all something. I don't know why I'm talking quiet, but... Okay, so here's his folder. Here's another thing I've wanted to do for years in my box packings. But I just, I don't know, I'd look at them and think, oh, should I, shouldn't I, will it scare people, won't I? I finally broke down and ordered uh, three different styles of what I'm about to show you. And I'm just overjoyed that Melanie's the first person to get this because, you know, Melanie, I'll be honest... Ratty makes me jump from time to time. So I hope this doesn't scare you too much, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys, and then I'll have to put it back. Oh, it got stuck on my Fragile sticker. So it is a butterfly. It says it's a boy. I have it's a boy, it's a girl, and then one that kind of matches my Kimberly's cocoon theme. Um, but he flies. So i got to hold on. So you, you hold the bottom there, and you twist. There's a rubber band in there, and you're supposed to twist until it gets a double layer of twisting. Okay, so hopefully Melanie will open her folder. <laughs> I might have to send her a message and say, make sure you... Or, no, I don't have a post-it right here. I should... Oh, I do. I should put open immediately. <laughs> Let's do that, you guys. I have a little post-it here. But that might, no, no, let's not do that. It'll give it away. I want it to be organic. If she does, she does. If she opens it off camera, she'll still get a hoot out of it. But uh, at least you guys got to see it fly a little bit here. So this is his little box here, which is already lined. Let's hopefully, I don't know if everything's going to fit in here. I don't think it's going to. Hmm. Because, let's see, let's make sure that'll... So all we have is these little two triangles. Hmm. You guys can't see what I'm looking at over here on the side. Let's do our best. So this buffalo plaid bag is for Ratty. That I will tell Melanie in a message, that the buffalo plaid bag is for Ratty. This Merry Christmas bag is for Melanie. And all I'm going to say is look at February 1st. Oh, that's not going to... Okay, let me see if that'll fit under little man. Nope. All right, ladies, I might have to upgrade my box, which would have to make you guys pause. Oh, I wish I could pause my camera. Let me see. Stand by. Let us, I want to lay this down in here and see if he'll fit on top and still close. It'll be snug. But that now gives me a little space under there that I don't want to waste. So we'll put a couple prezzies there. Make sure that's not bringing him up too much. Let's actually spin him this way. Okay. Now, let's put the buffalo plaid back, bag back in that corner. I'm going to put these couple little uh, creamy diapers under there. 
And then actually under the diapers, this is a little something for uh, Luciana, which is Melanie's niece. I don't know when you're going to see her, but that is for her. Actually, please, thank you for putting up with me. I'm actually going to put this into a baggie because it is a... It is a little bag of fun, slimy stuff, <laughs> but I just got to thinking, if that burst in this box, that would be a huge mess. I don't think it will, but just to be safe, we're going to put it into a baggie. How about that, everybody? Okay. I wish, I wish he would fit straight, but he needs to be on the diagonal. Okay. Oh, his folder has to go on top. Oh, ladies, I don't think this is going to work. I don't, don't think so. So, there's going to be a part two. I'm going to stop here, and I am going to build the other box. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. <laughs> I just, you know, when I, that slime under him, I just, mm, I, I couldn't. Uh, I think, I, I, I don't know, I might have been able to squeeze it all in. I don't think so, but I just felt, once I put that slime in, I thought this is not a good idea. So, let us put, let's start this again. So, here's Melanie's gift. We're going to put there. You all know I like to put something up by the head. We'll put it there. Except that's the feet, but I like to put something by the feet, too. <laughs> There's the buffalo plaid bag for our friend Ratty. And we'll put another present here, like that. And then here's his diapers, as I showed you, a couple little preemie diapers. I might need now. I might need to put air pockets or something in here. Um, let's see. I have this little bag for Luciana, and then here's his little tiny bottle. It's a little even flow two ounce bottle with some candies and his little duck. And I'm also including one of these little um, Emphamel. I don't know if Melanie would like that for photos, but he's a little tiny guy, so we'll put that there. And then I have these two organza bags. This one has a couple pair of socks and a little pair of crocheted booties. And then this one has his little book, Toodle. And then there's the tag for the knitting bee for the outfit and then his magnetic passy, and then this is the nipple that goes with the, the Emphamel, but I also included a no-hole so you can swap out the, the nipple so it doesn't spill, or you can just dump out the liquids. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of the smell of formula myself. So then we have, yeah, let me grab a couple air pockets here. I think that'll be good. Thank goodness my shipping supplies are right by me, right? Anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about, y'all. That's laid plans, right? So we're going to put a couple little air pockets in there to keep him cozy. There we go. And then we're going to lay a couple... Actually, his head's that way, so I need to turn those there. And then I have this sweet little triangle bib for him. It's gray and then it has uh, white uh, deer heads on it. So let's kind of lay that there like that. Actually, you know what we forgot, ladies? I know y'all are shouting it at me. You're saying bubbly wrap. We didn't wrap little Maximilian in bubbly wrap, which I would not have done in that tinier box. Don't I just come across so disorganized? This is, this is not normally me. Y'all know I'm like the organized freak. So now I can actually turn him around and put his head up there like that. Part of it is, I'll be honest with y'all, my husband said he was coming home early today and I know when he walks in he'll shout down and start talking. And <laughs> oh, Anyway, all right, that's better. So now we'll lay these this way because I turned his head around and his little bib kind of there. 
And then, of course, here's her Kimberly's Cocoon bag. Let's see what kind of sanitizer she got. Uh, Mandarin Spice. Mmm. For the mommy, not the baby. And then the folder with the little hidden surprise. I really hope Melanie opens that on camera. Oh, we can't forget his hairbrush. Even though he has painted hair, he gets a Kimberly's Cocoon hairbrush. And if you want to see what Melanie and Raddy's gifts are, you'll have to go watch Melanie's video. Because I pre-packed them. Hopefully. There we go. Let's get the, the Joy Bubble sticker here. To walk around the tripod. And our Funfetti. The box was hiding my Funfetti. We gotta have that. Let's sprinkle in a little Funfetti. Because it's so happy. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry, I can't sing. <laughs> I hope you plugged your ears for that. Anyway, like I said, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a lovely one. I hope you're uh, all getting ready for the holidays. And finding joy in that. Actually, let me fold this guy a little bit like that. So that can go there. Tuck that in like so, and then I think I'm going to put another little bit of those guys there. Just have another long row. And I have a couple little little ones here. I'm going to tuck in. Let's see if that's too tight. Maybe if we, this is where the space is, that's what I need to fill. At least down on the ends. There we go. Okay. Now, let's get a piece of helper tape because I have one more new thing to show you guys. So I'm going to put my helper tape there for now. And I'm going to use. The clear tape on the edges. Y'all know I love the super fun duct tape. But another thing I have researched and finally added to my repertoire is Kimberly's Cocoon Tape. So I will, I still have quite a bit of duct tape left, and I thought, well, use that first. And I thought, you know what? I can use that for. Um, like happy mail and birthdays and stuff like that even for you know family and stuff outside of YouTube so this is my Kimberly's cocoon tape it is black with Kimberly's cocoon and my butterfly. Isn't that so fun? I didn't line it up perfectly, but it's a little challenging to do. Isn't that so fun? Let me turn it so y'all can see it this away. See? Very deluxe, because I've looked for at custom boxes and like sleeves for boxes and anyway, I finally decided to do the tape. I'm somebody who will read I don't do things snap, judgment, quick. I'm not a quick. I like to ponder and process and find what I think is the best. So anyway, that is what I went with for now. All right, everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by to see Maximilian's box packing. I will put a link down to his box opening in the description below if Melanie does a box opening. I hope she does. I know there's a lot going on with all the YouTube stuff, but um, I really think we're going to be okay. I'm going to put his shipping label on, which I will not show. Um, but everybody, thank you. And Melanie, once again, dear, dear, sweet Melanie, thank you so very much for adding this baby to your to your heart and your home and all his siblings I know are super excited to meet him and I'm sending you much love thank you so much bye bye everybody have a blessed day